Today, I'm going to be making a Metro Boomin future Chris Brown type beat in the style of the new Heroes vs. Villains album that Metro released, I think, a week ago now. Metro, like a lot of producers, big inspiration for me. I think the reference track I'm probably going to use is either Superhero or Too Many Nights, because those are my two favorites on the album. Basically, 120 BPM with brass instruments is probably what we're going to go for. Let's just uh, let's just get into it. Okay. Basically just put a bunch of isotope vinyl and kickstart and I think love filter on there with some reverb. It's not it's not that complicated. I just basically threw a chorus on there and reverb and it sounds like this. Not really the kind of bell I'm looking for though. I might put that an octave off at some point, but I think for now it's fine. I like that for the melody so far. I think it needs um All right, I think we'll move on to drums now.
All right, I think there's a melody switch up somewhere in the song, so I should probably add something like that. It sounds a lot like an ARP, but just half-timed and pitched up, so I'm gonna try that now. I like this beat. I might put a few track appella on that. Can I do that? Will I get copyright if I do that? I should probably mix the beat first, actually. to arrange the beat now so for this part is bounce it out and then reverse it. I feel like I do this every time, but it just it just works, okay. It needs a reverse option.
beat done. Um, pretty simple beat. There's like seven or eight components there. The melody was pretty simple too. I think generally speaking, there's just a couple things that I'd like to tweak if I had to do it again. But that's just practice for me. That's why that's why he's the best at what he does. I also question sometimes. You know that one video where he's programming like 808s and bass lines and stuff? I wonder how many producers that spawned when it came out like five, six years ago. I don't even know when it came out. But I remember being 15 and seeing that video and like, I was like, damn, <laughs> I want to do that. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. Let's give it a lesson and see what I can improve on next time.